okay so here we will see the solution of part b of uh, problem number 2.5 <coughs> so here is the circuit what they give the source is fixed to 1 volt the gate is fixed to 1.9 volt the drain like the sound drain is variable the potential of that terminal is variable and that is going from 0 to 1 volt 0 to 3 volt and we need to find the ix and the gm of uh, m1 okay so here if you will see the first point you need to consider is your drain and your source are interchangeable basically whoever is having higher potential will be drain lower potential will be source so from 0 to 1 volt of vx your circuit will be like this your 1 volt terminal will be act as a drain the variable vx terminal will be act as a source and basically you are going from 0 to 1 volt <coughs> your gate gate is fixed to 1.9 for simplicity you can neglect the body effect and the channel length modulation that means gamma and lambda is equal to 0 for simplicity if you don't want to um, use that that is also possible to do that so for this one we already discussed this kind of circuit same kind of circuit in the previous video that is 2.5 a part you can see that you will find the exact solution of uh, this kind of circuitry for 1 volt to 3 volt the given drain will be act as a drain so this is a drain which, be, which will be variable from 1 to 3 volt and your source will be fixed at 1 volt your gate is 1.9 okay so here we will find so see let's say I, I will show you both without body effect and with body effect with body effect your VTH will going to change and that is 0.7 that how to get this value equation with this value you can refer this video video of 2.5a you will able to get that basically this is the equation of new VTH that is VTH 0 plus gamma in bracket under root 2 forming potential plus VSB minus under root 2 forming potential bracket over gamma is 0.45 from the uh, table number 2.1 you can get that 0.7 plus this value will be going to have uh, 0.893 just cross check it once again from your side so what will happen VDS is greater than VGS that is 1.9 minus 1 volt here if you will see 1.9 minus 1 it is VGS minus 0.893 will be 0 0.007 for this condition your MOSFET will be in saturation region if you are neglecting this body effect your uh, VDS should be greater than 0.9 minus 0.7 VTS is 0.7 so it is point it is greater than 0.2 if your VDS is, VDS is greater than 0.2 your device will be in saturation and ultimately your VX will be greater than 0.1.2 for device in saturation okay so here is the difference if you are considering body effect and if you are not considering body effect for saturation region your equation of current will be one half mu n c o x w by l vgs minus vts square but remember vgs and vgs minus vts will be constant for for example if you are not considering body effect your vgs minus vts will be 0.2 otherwise it will be 0 0.007 and your equation of gm will be mu n c o x w by l vgs minus vth bracket so this is a equation i or i and for i and gm okay for lean for um uh, for the trial region or linear region your equation of current will be mu n x w by l vgs minus vth into vd one half vds square if you will simplify this equation you will come up with uh, the simplified version if you don't want to simplify that is also fine you can just uh, put vgs that is 0.9 minus vth if you don't want to consider the body effect you can just point like let's say 0.7 um vx minus 1 that is vds see vx minus 1 vds is vx minus 1 volt okay so here 
uh, minus 1 minus 1 half vx minus 1 square here also this equation will also be fine for your uh, calculation here k is mu and x to by just to simplify the okay so you can use this equation either, either this equation you can use MATLAB also for um, for value of this i with respect to vx and your equation of gm is mu n c of x w by l vds that is vx minus 1 this is for tired or linear region let's say b and b okay so now how your graph will looks like let's see um, here we'll draw id versus vx this is one volt this is saturation point with respect to if you are considering or not considering um, let's say you are not considering that is 1.2 so up to that it will follow like this and after this it will be straight line if you are not considering the channel length modulation and up to up from 0 to 1 volt it will follow the linear graph as shown in 2.5a okay so here somewhat confusion is going on so i will just retry it just to this is saturation point this is one volt and this is the negative current of uh, ix why negative because as as we saw this this terminal is changing their role so ix will be here what ix is is current coming from this vx so coming from this vx will be actually going to vx in this condition so that's why this is minus uh, minus uh, sorry negative values and how gm will looks like this is the uh, there is no square term here so it will be straight line from the saturation point it is like some constant value i am i am stating saturation point you can consider i am i am repeating myself once again if you are not considering both effects uh, second order effect it will be 1.2 otherwise it will be 1.007 this is 1 volt and it will be followed the somewhat straight line in the and one more important thing in the in the video 2.5 a part i considered um, body effect as well as channel length modulation also if you are neglecting that your line will be very straight here for gm this is gm versus vx this is id versus v this is actually ix versus vx huh? i am sorry for that id will be actually in positive so if you are really plot your id in your virtues or maybe whatever software it will be it will become like this don't be surprised if you are uh, if you are simulating this because id will be always positive they are if you are if you are changing also id will be positive only so instead let's see let, let's say ix this is ix versus vx and this will be negative this is the right this will be wrong but in in simulation in real uh, real simulation in virtue so you will get this kind of graph don't be confused for that gym will be looks like this almost all right so this is the solution of uh, part b of 2.5 we will see part C after this. Thanks.